Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about adding music to your Fitbit Sense or your Versa 3. Let's jump into it. Thanks so much for checking out this video on this channel. I do all sorts of Fitbit tutorials, unboxings, reviews, and more, so please consider subscribing. But today we are going to be using my Fitbit Sense to uh, talk about music and all the options that you have and options that you don't have. So we have my Fitbit Sense listed under devices and under my Fitbit account, what I did, I just opened the Fitbit app, went to my account icon that's up top, found devices and then clicked on Sense. This gives me all the different settings and areas to operate my Fitbit Sense. Uh, to use music on it, you're gonna click on the media button and you are going to see that we have three different options Spotify, Pandora, and Deezer. Uh, all of these uh, services you are going to need a premium subscription in order to use and they all work a little bit different so I'm going to go through all that with you here on the watch. A big question that everybody asks is can you download music to your watch and my answer to that question is kind of. Uh, what that means is this. First off, if you have paid for music, such as MP3s that you have purchased, and maybe you have those loaded on your phone or your computer, maybe you bought them from the iTunes store or Amazon, Fitbit has, they used to have an option where you could transfer music to the watch. They have eliminated that option. It seems like they want you to use one of these three services here in order to put music on your watch. If that is something that you are looking to do, there are other watches out there by other brands such as Garmin that still allow you to transfer those things over to the watch. Even things like podcasts, you're not gonna be able to just manually transfer that over. You would need to use one of these services to use those. All of these services have some sort of free trial on them. And I'm gonna go through each one of these services individually, talk to you about pricing options, and just kind of show you what you can do with your Fitbit Sense or Versa 3 using the app. So I'm gonna tell you right off the bat that Spotify, you will not be able to load any music onto your watch. You will only be able to control Spotify with the watch using it as like a remote control. Pandora and Deezer allow you to load music that you can download over to the watch. Uh, and then from that point, if you were gonna go for a run and you wanted to leave your phone at home, you can do that. However, you will need to connect some sort of headphones to the Fitbit itself. And I just wanna show you how to do that. So you wanna go into your uh, settings under your Versa 3 or your Sense. And as you scroll down under display, vibration and audio, you'll, you'll find that setting. You'll wanna go under there and under vibration, under microphone, you will see Bluetooth. And this is where you can connect your wireless speaker or your headphones. And that is going to allow you to play right from your watch to those devices without needing your phone with you. In addition to that, you can use this watch for these different programs as a controller. So if you do want to take your phone with you, and that will give you more options in these different uh, apps, then what you'll need to do is you will need to sync. If you already have the Sense or the Versa 3 synced up to your phone, you actually need to connect it again by on my uh, Android Pixel 2. If I scroll down and then I go scrolling down again, go into my settings, under my connected devices, I actually had to pair a new device and I found this Sense Controls. And the Sense Controls allows you to go into the settings on either Pandora or Deezer and turn the watch into a remote and I'll show you that coming up. So let's talk about using Spotify. If you go into Spotify and you don't have your Spotify account linked up yet, you'll need to go once again under this media section under your device. So under my sense, if I go to media and I click on Spotify, this allows me to set up that Spotify account. Uh, I will go under settings and then under settings, I'm gonna log in and it's gonna prompt me to put in my Spotify login information and agree to their terms. And again, this will only work if you have a premium Spotify account, not the free version. If you are interested in Spotify, you can get a 30-day free trial by going to Spotify's website. 
Uh, after that 30-day free trial, it is $9.99 a month to use Spotify, or you can get a family plan, family plan uh, where you could also get a month for free for $14.99 per month, or you can get a Spotify premium duo, which is two accounts, and two accounts of Spotify was going to be $12.99. So you can kind of pick the best feature for what's going to work best for you. Uh, I'm going to agree to these terms, and from this point, it shows that my account is linked up and it says start up Spotify on another device and it's gonna appear here. So with Spotify pulled up on my phone, if I go into the Spotify app, you will see that whatever track I am playing, it's going to load that up on the watch. And it takes a minute the first time that it's loading. And real quick guys, in all of our videos, we hide Tinker, he's our little hidden robot and he's gonna briefly pop up somewhere in this video. If you happen to see him popping up, be sure to Take note of the timestamp or the amount of time into the video that he pops up. Let me know that timestamp down in the comments section below for your chance to get your name and your YouTube channel if you have one featured on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page. But eventually it does load and then once it loads, uh, you can do all these different features such as pause, play the track, um, you can fast forward, you can also go back. You can add a song that you like into your liked songs. You can also remove it. If you scroll up on the little arrow at the bottom, this also gives you shuffle options as well as repeat options. And then if you keep scrolling, it shows you your library in Spotify and shows you recently played. So right now I'm in a coffee house playlist, a coffee house acoustic. Again, I can advance through these tracks that are on here. If I am on my phone uh, and I go into the Coffee House Acoustic, if I decide that I want to go to a song on here, that's going to update it on my watch. Now, using Spotify, you got to bring your phone with you. You can't download the music to the watch itself. That's one of the biggest limitations to Spotify. Um, the other thing is uh, with Spotify, a lot of times I like to listen to podcasts. I can't just call up a podcast from what I've been able to find under my library. This is only just music. So if I was going to listen to a podcast and I was under my Spotify account, say I went to my library and then I went to podcasts and I started listening to the Gadget Cast because they've got a great podcast. Once I activate it on my phone, then I will be able to have options on my watch to control it. But without first activating it on my phone, I won't have those options. And again, need to have my phone with me. And if you are getting some value out of this video, hit that like button as it helps this video out as well as this channel. So next, let's talk about Pandora. So Pandora works the same way. What you will need to do is activate your premium account on Pandora. If you don't already have a Pandora account, uh, you can get, they have uh, a couple of different options. They have Pandora Plus which is only $4.99 per month, or they have Pandora Premium, which is $9.99 per month. Uh, and if you are interested in one of those two options, um, you can pause the screen, see the differences between the two accounts. I did notice that when I went onto the Pandora app on my phone, uh, from trying to get over from Fitbit, it only gave me 30 day trials of each one. However, if you go onto Pandora's website, and you want to sign up for the Pandora Premium, that actually gives you 60 days for free. And the secret I would tell you guys with any of these accounts, whether it be Spotify, Pandora, or Deezer, is if you're going to sign up for the free trial, sign up for it right away. It's going to ask to get your credit card. But then after you activate, you can go into settings and cancel the account. You will still get your free trial for whatever that amount of time is, whether it's 30 days or 60 days. But in addition to that, now you've canceled it, you don't have to worry about them auto renewing you when you run out of time. So I would definitely suggest you do that. Once you've got Pandora connected, you are gonna get a screen like this on your phone. Now with Pandora, you can actually download music to the watch so that once you've got it downloaded, you don't have to take your watch with you. And if I go into the Pandora app, you are gonna see that there are two different selected stations that are loaded onto my watch. And again, I don't need my phone because I've synced this up already. You'll also see here under Pandora, it's showing me how much room I have filled with current downloaded music. Uh, Fitbit states you can have up to 300 songs 
downloaded. When you are in the Fitbit app under the Pandora setting, you get two options. You can uh, it, let me choose from popular workout stations or you can auto sync my top Pandora stations. For right now, I have it uh, synced up to my popular workout stations and you'll see here the thumbprint radio or the pop fitness radio. And I just chose one station. You can add more stations up to three of them for it to sync. And they have all different types here that you can choose from. I want to let you know that when I loaded this Pop Fitness and I wanted to sync it to my watch, you can go up here to the dots and force sync now and that will start downloading this to your watch. This one station took almost a half hour to sync over to my watch. So if you load up three stations right away, plan on it syncing for quite a while. It, dev it does give you a little status bar telling you where it's at but again it's going to take a while to sync that up now once you have synced that up then what you can do is play that particular selected station on the watch it's currently telling me i have no headphones or speakers selected but what i'm going to do is actually activate my bluetooth headphones because I had previously synced these up to the watch and I actually said earlier how to do that. Once I turn these on, my watch automatically notices that it's connected and it goes right into that playlist. And I guess one of the annoying features to me is that sometimes the watch will lock itself back up. But I am back in it now and then I can play whatever song it is on this particular station that I've chosen and I can choose to repeat that song before it ends, or I can advance to the next song. And I can keep advancing through next songs as I keep going. You also have a volume control on the watch itself. So if you hit volume, you can uh, add to it or reduce it. And then I've actually got controls on my headphones where I can add and reduce the volume as well. And then to go back a menu, you can just swipe to the right. If I wanted to go to a different selected station, I could just swipe to the right and that takes me back to these different playlists. I could go to the Pop Fitness and again now it's showing me the song in there. Have those same controls. I can forward through to the next song. Um, I also have options here where if I click on that, if I wanted to change what device I'm listening on, I can do that. Or if I want to just turn this watch strictly into a controller, and I want to bring my phone with me, that's where I would change this to mobile control to control what's playing on my phone. Once I do that on my phone, if I activate Pandora and I go into the Pandora app, let's say I was listening to the uh, Chris Hogan Show podcast because they've got a great podcast and I start playing the podcast on my phone and then I jump back to my uh, jump back to my Fitbit Sense, I'll now notice that I've, I can see that podcast playing and I've got controls here where as this is playing, I can pause this. Um, I also can go back and unpause it. And when I use this little forward button uh, on the phone, I have these 15 second fast forwards or rewinds. I will be able to fast forward 15 seconds. So if you have commercials or something that you want to skip over, you have those options. Those are all the different options that you have using Pandora. So lastly, let's talk about using Deezer. So Deezer is kind of a nice hybrid, in my opinion, between Spotify and Pandora. You can listen to different playlists. You also can directly listen to specific songs that you can put into playlists that you create so you can listen to those songs more of an on-demand. Um, with Deezer, again, you need a premium account. Uh, there are two accounts for Deezer. There's Deezer Premium, which prices out at $9.99 per month, or Deezer Family, which is $15 or $14.99 per month. And Deezer on their website actually gives you three months for free. So 90 days to play around with Deezer and then load music to your watch to me seems kind of fun. Again, sign up for the free trial and then I would just cancel it right away. You'll still get to uh, use it for three months and you don't have to worry about getting hit with that renewal charge. But in uh, setting up Deezer, again, you're going to go into the media area of your Fitbit. Go ahead and log in and connect the account and then you'll get a screen such as this. Uh, in the Deezer app, which I'm going to jump over to, in the Deezer app, very similar to Spotify, but again, the advantage with Deezer is you can actually send music to the watch. Um, you can create playlists. I'm going to go to search, 
And I've already created some playlists and I'll show you an example here. Let's say I am going to add a song and it's going to be this uh, Wake Me Up. What I can do is uh, find that song, hit the dots here, and then add to a playlist. I just created a playlist called Fun. And then that has been added to my playlist. If I go to Favorites, I will see here that I've got three playlists created and I can jump back over to my Fitbit and I've jumped back to the Fitbit app and I'm under Deezer and I'll go into Deezer on my Fitbit Sense. And there I can see that I've got my two playlists, Jeff's Vibes, and then these are all the tracks that I have loved. And again, there's just a couple of tracks in here because I'm showing you guys an example. Um, but what I want to show you is if you want to add another playlist, you can go to Add Music. I just created this fun that has the three tracks in it playlist. And when I go to add that, it says here one item added to queue. I can then go to Done. And then up top... I will be able to force a sync and when I force that sync that is going to sync up those three tracks of fun and they'll show up on my watch. I'm going to do that right now and it's giving me a warning here saying that in syncing this is going to drain the battery from my device so please check the battery level. Battery is actually quite full on my device so we strongly suggest you connect to a charger. Um, typically I'd connect to a charger but just to show you guys an example we're going to sync this up. Now it's showing me sync in progress and I can use other applications while my music loads. We're going to see here preparing music for download and it's downloading the music to uh, my watch. And again, this is just three tracks and this is going fairly quick. It's been probably about 30 seconds. My guess is it'll take about a minute. So it's, you know, somewhere around 20, 25 seconds per song that you are going to transfer in Deezer. So we just did 100%, and I would say that took about a minute and a half to do the transfer of those three songs. And now I can see that I've got the fun playlist in addition to my loved tracks and Jeff's vibes under Deezer. And then I can go into, say, fun, see those different songs go ahead and play those. So again, with Deezer, um, very similar to Pandora, as far as downloading music to your watch, you can download music if you're interested in listening to podcasts. Um, you can only play podcasts from your phone inside of Deezer. You can, however, go to the watch icon on uh, your Sense or Versa 3 and switch this over to mobile control. And then what that's going to allow you to do then is at least control whatever you're listening to in Deezer. Uh, so if you do start a podcast, I went to my favorites here and under uh, music, you can switch over to podcasts. I can go to my podcasts and like I was listening to the Dave Ramsey show. Uh, if I was listening to that podcast as it's going, I'll see that that's also playing on my watch and I've got the ability to pause that. I've also got the ability to advance to the next podcast. So I'm interested to know which one of these music apps are you most interested in using or what other questions do you guys have or what are your thoughts on using all these different music apps on your Fitbit Sense or your Versa 3? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you're interested in more Fitbit videos, tutorials, please be sure to check out the playlist at the end of this video as well as more links down in the description below. My name is Jeff. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to make every day awesome and I will see you guys in the next video.